So we walked across the causeway there and come to this point, which is, um, it's like they started to clear it for a trail, but it's, it's not on any maps. It's on a marked trail um, whatsoever. But it's obviously traveled a little bit by probably locals. So we're just going to explore a little bit of it and uh, see if we can find a nice little place for lunch. Pretty in here, eh? Look at all the maple shoots. Look at that. See the trail kind of ends right here. More, well, kind of, maybe a game trail at this point. So you don't want to bank right in there. I can see a little clearing up in here. I'm going to make a few of these maple shoots a little tougher. Give them a bit of a workout. Here. I'm liking what we're seeing here, brother. Yeah, pretty nice. If we work our way in a little bit more, we'll be able to get a little bit more flexibility from the trail. Yep, absolutely. We'll be able to see them, but no one will be able to source us out. Check us out, brother. Source us out. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's looking pretty sweet, eh? All these fallen trees make an excellent little bench area right here. What do you think? Can you on a little bit more? Yeah, a little bit maybe, eh? A little close to the trail, still. And it's looking very interesting this way. Hmm. So many options. Almost feels like we're almost there for some reason, right? I don't even know. Just get that vibe like you're almost there. It's weird. So much dead wood here for a fire. It's ridiculous. Right? Yeah. Hmm. What are you feeling? This almost feels like it. A little closer to the water? Yeah, okay. can be out of view. A lot of dead fall in here, eh?
What about right here, dude? What do you think? Can you see something else or what? Here we got a little bench area. Yeah, we can drop the, uh, drop the legs here. We got some hammock trees. Yep, all kinds of hammock trees. Good little spot. All right. Looks good. We can make it work. All right, we're going to set up camp and uh, yeah, we'll give you a little tour once we got her uh, set up. So here's the view from my hammock. Chair mode. There is Barnabas getting his ready. Having to use some paracord because I was a poor enough host to not provide him with straps. <laughs> but he's doing it bushcrafter style, so I'm damn proud of him. Damn proud. <laughs> I'm just hoping mine uh, hold up on that side. They're just uh, repurposed toe straps. Saw a guy in a video do that, and I thought, well, I can save myself a couple bucks. That's an Eno double nest hammock, by the way. I'm going to save myself a couple bucks on the Atlas straps, at least for now, and see how these do. They've got a weight capacity of, um, I want to say, 900 pounds or something ridiculous. So, a little thinner on this side. A bit of a brute over here, though. It's a uh, poplar. Big, big, big poplar, I believe. Judging by the leaves, I can see at the top. So I should be grippy enough on the webbing to hold me. But yeah. This is us. See if I can get up without wiping out. Pretty much got it at just the right level too. So there's a couple uh, <laughs> tail bruisers underneath there. I might actually see if I can move it. it seemed like it was in there pretty good. Yeah, it's wedged in there. So we just got a foam mat over top. So at least if I fall, there'll be some kind of uh, some kind of cushion. How's that for you? Doing good. Good. Nice. My knots are holding, so that's all that matters at the moment. <laughs> Sweet. And we've got some uh, duck song going down in here. Some uh, Canadian geese, or as we call them, geese, <laughs> on their migration. And uh, they're stopping for a little rest, a little bite to eat, a little drink. Yeah. So here's my setup. Got the Eno double nest, all slung out. Packs all open, I'm not worried about it being on the ground. I can hang it if I want, but it's that, you know, suitcase open, obviously, style, which I like, or uh, front opening. I don't know exactly how you'd uh, call them, but. But yeah. See the range on camera, why not? So. Kaika by Fjall Raven. Good pack, 100 liter. It's a bruiser. Still got to slim some, uh, take some weight out of it. Got a few redundant, uh, got triple redundant fire kits in there that <laughs> aren't really necessary. No, I know. That's kind of what we were thinking was, but I mean, I figure two is probably enough. And I've got fire rods all over the place ferro rods just to uh, back up and I always carry at least one of myself usually two because I'll have one with my knife which is today uh, one of the knives at least I've got is the triple X custom I picked up also known as the, uh, the forest walker I'm gonna be vain enough to call it I'm torn between that and the forest companion because it's a companion for forest walkers so <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't have a name. Maybe it'll get a name. It's not all that important, I guess. It is and it isn't. These lads are having a great old time out here.
but beautiful spot. We're going to uh, set up a bit more and uh, enjoy it, aren't we, sir? Yes, sir.